How do the Dead Sea Scrolls buttress God's preservation of Scripture? With the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, we now have a virtual first-century Hebrew Old Testament library available at the click of a 21st century mouse. Not only that, but the Dead Sea Scrolls, dated to 100 BC, predate the earliest extant Hebrew text, the Masoretic text, by a full millennium. As such, everyone from scholar to schoolchild can determine where the Old Testament scriptures have been corrupted by men or miraculously preserved by God. SIGNS, another acronym, S-I-G-N-S, signs of their miraculous preservation can be found in the Samuel Scroll, Isaiah Scroll, Goliath Stature, Enverse, and Salem's King. Let's start with the Samuel Scroll. A scroll discovered in Cave 4 in September 1952. This Samuel Scroll not only demonstrates that the text of Samuel has been faithfully preserved over the span of a thousand years, but adds color commentary and cooperation concerning people and practices chronicled in the biblical text. Isaiah Scroll. Like the Samuel Scroll, the great Isaiah Scroll demonstrates that God has miraculously preserved His Word over time. Consider the brightest star in the constellation of Isaiah prophecies. I'm talking about Isaiah 53. When compared to the Masoretic text, there are 17 differences. Well, first blush, that might sound significant. Ten were differences in spelling, four a matter of style, and three involve the Hebrew letters for light. None alter the substance of the text. Goliath stature. In most modern translations, which follow the extant Hebrew text, Goliath is said to be six cubits and a span, or over nine feet tall. The Septuagint, the Greek version of the Old Testament, however, renders Goliath four cubits and a span, approximately six feet six inches tall. As a result of the Dead Sea Scrolls, it is now apparent that the exaggerated height of Goliath was a result of a corruption of the original account. The original account, which, of course, was found in 1 Samuel. The inverse. Discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls solved a mystery that had long puzzled translators. Psalm 145 laid out as an alphabetical Hebrew acrostic poem is missing a verse. In the Hebrew, all the letters in the acrostic are sequentially accounted for except the letter N. Thus the mystery. What happened to the N verse in the Hebrew acrostic? The mystery was solved when the Psalm scroll was discovered in February 1956 in Cave 11, replete with the words, Neeman, faithful is God in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. Salem's King. From an earthly perspective, Abraham was the king of Salem or Jerusalem, the very region in which God called him to establish a righteous nation of kings and priests. However, from a heavenly perspective, it is Melchizedek who is Salem's king. Scripture designates Melchizedek as king of righteousness and king of peace, 
tells us that he is without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginnings of days or end of life. And that like the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. Nonetheless, as noted by biblical scholar Dr. Craig Evans, this was poorly understood until scholars discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. In the Melchizedek Scroll, Psalm 7 depicts Melchizedek, ruling from on high as judge of the peoples. In Psalm 82.1, Melchizedek presides in the great assembly and makes judgment as the Almighty. In Isaiah 61.2, the year of the Lord's favor is the year of Melchizedek's favor. Thus, equating Melchizedek with the Almighty. In sum, the Dead Sea Scrolls powerfully underscore the miraculous reality that God has preserved his word over time, provide significant insight into the text of the Old Testament, and add considerable clarity to the text of the New. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. Isaiah 40, verse 8.